Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. I uh, got one last one for you this week. Got a good one for you. Going to get into Reese Belodi and Michael Gomez in which to be a really, really good fight. Uh, I like this bet. I think there's good money to be made on this. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing with bookies. The odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you uh, request a video, and it gets you the updated props. When the props haven't dropped yet, when I release the video, because they don't release until a day or two before the fight, come over to the Patreon. I will show you how to make money. Uh, $5 a month gets you everything you could ever need the absolute best gambling advice anywhere in the boxing universe also head on over to carnivore.com that's carnivore.com carnivorebar.com i'm sorry carnivorebar.com get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar that's carnivorebar.com uh use pro- promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout that's promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout over at carnivalbar.com on the move nutrition without compromise. All right, y'all. Let's get also uh, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Reese Belody, pretty basic, not a huge hitter. Uh, not super fast. Wants to counter, but he can't really deal with speed. He wants to use the ring. He circles the ring. He's a bit slow. He doesn't really commit to his shots. He, he's got an amateur style, and like it's not. I'm not trying to throw any shade at British fighters, but he's just a typical British fighter where there's no real intention on his shots. He's just kind of amateur. He looks to score, but he doesn't really look to hurt you. He's just looking to, you know, punch. Score and, and, and there's no rhyme or reason for his punches. It's just not a, a style that's going to translate. He doesn't have a skill set or a style that's going to translate at the highest level. I spot Michael Gomez, and we're going to get to that in a minute. Um, like I said, he, he doesn't commit to a shot, he, he is a bit slow. He digs to the body, he goes to the body well, he mixes up his combinations. He just—he doesn't—he's not in anything special. It's just he's pretty decent volume, pretty decent fundamentally. Keeps and maintains distance well. Throws a lot of arm punches where they score, but they don't really do anything. He can't handle speed well. You saw this with Raymond Ford. I'm not saying Michael Gomez is Raymond Ford. He's not, but he's not slow either. He's got that amateur style. Just just looks to touch you. Throws combinations without much on him. Just not a, a ton to like about him. He does commit to the body well. He's got good feet. He does some things well. Like he, he, He's been trained how to fight in an amateur style. He, he does it pretty well. His fundamentals are okay. He knows how to box. I can't really see him winning rounds from the outside. outside. He goes to the body well. He digs and mixes things up well. I'm just not impressed with Rich Bologna. Not at anything above a really domestic level. Once he steps up, good fighters are going to beat him. I want to get into Michael Gomez Jr. as well. He's a much more aggressive. He's a fun fighter to watch. He'll fight in the phone booth. He gets hit a lot too. He trades on the inside. Not a ton of movement from him. Good volume as well. Fires off quick shots on the inside. Good, pretty good skills on the inside. Straight shots. Goes to the body. Turns him up. Uppercuts upstairs. Uh, will grind for three minutes of every single round. Doesn't move his head. And he stands in and trades. But he will grind you out. He's constantly off the front foot. Coming forward. Coming forward. Throwing combinations. He can be touched up. But offensively, he's pretty good. He's a lot to deal with. His offense is quite a bit to deal with. He lands on the button from the outside. He's pretty accurate from the outside. Now, there's not a ton on his punches. He's not a huge hitter, but he lands clean. When you land clean, that kind of increases the impact of your shots. He's not great at cutting off the ring. We're going to see if that's a factor. He's a guy that comes forward, you know, but he's not really a master at cutting off the ring. Uh, 
Shoe shines well, front foot, jabs well, defensively flawed, not much head movement, goes to the body, really good gas tank, excellent gas tank, and he's undeterred. He stays on the front foot, he'll eat shot, he keeps coming out, he's, he's rugged, he's durable, he keeps throwing. I think ultimately he wears him down, he wears Bloody down. I think he ekes out a close decision. I definitely think this thing is fit to go the distance. Uh, neither guy can really hit. I think you know, Gomez is, is not Raymond Ford. He's, he's not going to light him up, stop him. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that. Uh, Reese is not a hitter either. This is a fight that, uh, to me, it's going the distance. And, you know, I, I would make that my big bet. And then if you wanted to take a flyer, I would take it on Michael Gomez. I do think Michael Gomez wins this fight. I think that's a good bet. I would take – so the over 10 and a half, I would take – uh, pays minus 205. And then I would take Michael Gomez to go the distance. I would take Michael Gomez uh, on the money line. And I would put a one and a half times bet on the over. I would just do one on one. Let's just do one on one. What do you make for this fight? 50. So put 50 on that. So over 10 and a half is going to make you 50 bucks. I would tend to take that 50 bucks and put it on Michael Gomez. That's going to make me 62 bucks. Uh, so when I hit both of these, the over and Michael Gomez Jr., I'm going to make some nice money on that. These are two nice bets. Hedge as well. Michael Gomez, the over. I really like the over 10 and a half. I do not see a stoppage. I definitely see this thing going the distance. I really like that bet. I think that's a terrific bet. That's the big bet I like. So I throw my normal bet on that. And I throw half my bet, so the profits of what I get for going over on Michael Gomez. Let me know what you guys think. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Um, the Boxing Book, he comes out. And let me share the screen with you. I am such an idiot. Let me show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this. Uh, put uh, The over is 10 and a half. I'm going to put... My normal bet, so in this case, $100 on the over, which makes me 50 bucks. I'm then going to take that 50 bucks I'm going to make by hitting the over and throw that on Michael Gomez to pull the slight upset, which would pay me 62 bucks. So it's 50 and 60, so I make 110 bucks on $150 worth of bets. It's pretty good. Uh, and I really, really like the over on that. The over, I think, is, is the best bet of the week, or one of the best bets of the week. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if I'm only going to make one bet, it's probably my it's probably for this thing to go over. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Go over to carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Get the nutrition of a steak, the convenience of a snack. That's carnivorebar.com. It is uh, October 26th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.